Here in California for the 2018 Gatorade Awards Dinner, our Boys Tricycle Athlete of the Year, Anthony Schwartz, American Heritage High School, Plantation, Florida. Phenomenal year. Give you an idea as to how talented this individual is. Seven times in his career, he's gone sub 1020 for 100 meters. Only one other athlete in U.S. history has done that as a high schooler, the name of Noah Lyles. Also, the world U U18 record holder for 100 meters at 1017. The 200, of course, guy's coming Usain Bolt. So, pretty big names you're already with, and yet football is also big for you. Which now, coming off the, the silver medal in Finland at the World U20, which is a bigger sport for you, football, track and field? Honestly, they've both kind of been there for me. Like on the football aspect, maybe a lot of the fans like me, and then on the track aspect, I kind of get a little bit of a world stage. But I think coming now, I think track has kind of built, built my name up a lot. But even though like my accomplishments on the football field shouldn't be overshadowed by my accomplishments on the track. What do you think is, I mean, how good are you in football in your eyes? In my eyes, I feel like I'm one of the best. I could be one of the, one of the top freshmen coming in for my school for Auburn. And then I feel like I'm the best of the best. University of Auburn, SEC, very good in football, obviously the best. Also very good, the best in track and field as well. How much cooperation do you have between the two staffs of the University of Auburn in terms of supporting the other sport? Well, mainly my biggest thing we're recruiting was trying to see which staff could be that have the best support. And I feel like at Auburn, Coach Gus Malzon, he told me that he wants me to be happy. If I'm happy, he's happy. So he told me whatever he, whatever like I want to do, he's on board 100%. So he said that I come in, play football 100%, and then as soon as track season starts, he will not take me away from track. He'll let me stay there the whole season until back to football. This year, again, a phenomenal year in track and field. How would you characterize it in terms of success, in terms of the fast times, and in terms of your international travel to Finland? Did you accomplish what you wanted to this year? Yes, I accomplished pretty much all but one, and the only one, well, two. One was winning a team state title. We came second by like seven points. Another thing, other one was, I wanted to win the gold medal at juniors. Ended up with silver, but you can't win everything, and you know, I was got to take that loss and then build up from it. Having such a good year in the sprints this year, uh, in track and field, what would you say, in being critical of yourself, what would you say is probably your, your biggest room for improvement still out there in track and field? My biggest room is mainly still, still trying to get my start better in 100, and kind of the transition phase between 30 and 60, being able to keep on firing instead of sometimes I relax a little bit. And then for the 200, it's just... I still got to figure out how to run a perfect race. I ran it one time, and I'm still trying to get that perfect race consistently. How deadly does your speed make you in football? It makes me very deadly because no one, I'm right now world leader in 100, so I know no one can catch me. And so I know when I get the ball, I just got to run away from everyone pretty much. Last question. Gatorade is a huge, huge award here. You're the national honoree for track and field. How much does this award mean to you? It's just very amazing to receive this award, especially because it not only exemplifies on the field, it's also off the field. It shows what I do in the classroom. It shows how much I care for my community. All right, Anthony Schwartz, once again, the Gatorade National Trackfield Athlete of the Year, outstanding in both track and field and football. He and I have him going to the University of Auburn. Thank you.